well see dear students uh, one more kind of question may be asked uh, which is based on the enthalpy of neutralization see enthalpy of neutralization of weak acid so see how to proceed such type of question weak acid let it be uh, because n factor is given h a so and a strong base that is also uh, with n factor 1 uh, here you have to consider so h a this is a weak acid weak acid plus b o h some strong base This will give uh, A B salt plus water. So what is uh, uh, given here in the question? You have transformed that in a reaction. And what is delta H for this? Delta H for this uh, reaction is equal to minus fifty six point one kilojoules per. If the enthalpy of ionization of the acid is this, see, see, first uh, all of you should uh, note down the question. The enthalpy of neutralization of weak acid with n factor 1, uh, 1 molar solution, right, with a strong base is uh, minus 56.1 kilojoules per mole. If the enthalpy of ionization of the acid is 1.5 kilojoules per mole, right. What is the percentage ionization of weak acid? So this is a, a different kind of question in which it is asked percentage ionization of weak acid, right? And uh, this is the standard data given for strong acid, strong base. So what uh, the data given here in the first uh, part of this question, I have transformed that in a chemical reaction. So, so this is the uh, basic requirement to solve such type of problems, I mean problems based on this uh, uh, chemical uh, reactions, right, okay, hopefully all of you have noted down this question, now see what other information is given that also we summarize, this is for a strong acid, a strong base, this is for a strong acid and strong base, what is this? what this value is given if the enthalpy of ionization because uh, if you would not understood this uh, it is uh, difficult to solve this question see enthalpy of ionization of the acid is uh, this means the enthalpy of ionization h a gives uh, uh, h plus plus a minus and by assuming 100% uh, ionization. See here, I have put it here uh, irreversible pair. Then this ionization, this is given uh, 1.5 kilojoules per mole. So when it is 100% ionized, then uh, for 100% ionization, it requires uh, 1.5 uh, kilojoules per mole energy, right, okay, and uh, this data is given for uh, uh, standard data, this is for strong acid, strong base, so what uh, we do here, if we are able to calculate the uh, ion delta H ionization in this uh, ion uh, situation, whatsoever situation given in the question, then we can calculate the percent ionization because we know for 100 percent ionization this amount of energy is required it is given in the question a little bit uh, i mean uh, you have to uh, i mean uh, clear in this concept otherwise it is difficult so if the enthalpy of ionization of the acid is 1.5 so this is by assuming 100 percent ionization for 100 percent ionization this uh, energy is required so i have so given you one formula c Delta H of reaction is equal to delta H ionization and neutralization. So you can use this and calculate what is the uh, I mean, uh, uh, enthalpy of ionization in this question, right? Not uh, 
this hundred percent. This is I. This is the data which is given for hundred percent. Now, delta H of this reaction, delta H not of this reaction, is equal to delta H ionization plus delta H neutralization. What is this neutralization? This is for strong acid plus strong base. This is for strong acid, strong base. This is ionization and this is this reaction. Right? So this is your equation. One. So this is equal to minus 56.1 kilojoules per mole is equal to delta H ionization minus 57.3. So from here you can calculate you can calculate the delta H ionization. Delta H ionization in this reaction basically in this acid base reaction. And this is the uh, isolated condition pure. So delta H ionization is equal to 1.23. Okay, 1.2 kilojoules per mole. So in this reaction, the delta G, uh, delta H ionization is this in this reaction. In this reaction for H A, right? And this is uh, in pure state of HA, which is given, right? So what is the percentage ionization? Percentage ionization of weak acid is equal to, what is the energy required per 100%? 1.5 minus what is the energy required for ionization of HA in this reaction, that is 1.2 divided by 1.5, right, into 100. So this is uh, 0 0.3. So 0 0.3 by uh, 1.5, 30, 20%, percent, right? So it will give you the 20 percent. So basically in this uh, reaction, uh, this HA is only 20 percent ionized, right? It is only 20 percent ionized. So in this way you can solve such type of problems. So hopefully all of you are clear. First you have to read the question, summarize the information given and then apply your uh, concepts and uh, equation right okay now come to the next uh, uh, enthalpy uh, next uh, uh, i mean uh, kind of uh, enthalpy that is standard enthalpy of solution or sometimes it is referred as standard integral enthalpy of uh, solution right so uh, first we make a simple definition for this and then we will proceed. See, standard means first you have to specify your condition at one bar pressure we are taking standard and uh, temperature if nothing is mentioned then 298 can be. So basically uh, this is the condition for this standard. So our, how to visualize this? See standard enthalpy of solution or standard in integral enthalpy of solution this is defined as you take one mole of solute, one mole of solute, solute and uh, take uh, n moles of water. So if you take uh, one mole of solute and n moles of solvent moles of solvent and uh, in most of the cases solvent is water so solvent or water so you will have a, a solution with a particular concentration solution with a 
is a particular concentration right so whatsoever enthalpy changes in this process what is the uh, net heat change whatsoever net heat change uh, in this process that is called the standard integral enthalpy of solution right so net heat change heat change in the above process process is known as a standard enthalpy of solution right or uh, integral enthalpy of solution right clear take one mole of solute and uh, take n mole of water and uh, when you take n mole of water so definitely will have some uh, concentration uh, uh, i mean concentration uh, i mean solution with a particular concentration so whatsoever energy is changing whatsoever heat is changing here uh, that is called enthalpy of solution it could be positive it could be negative i cannot say that it is always exothermic or it is always endothermic so it could be anything so i am not making any uh, choice here that this is always exothermic or always endothermic right so this could be exothermic or endothermic now see depending on the nature of solute depending on the nature of solute uh, enthalpy of solution is explained uh, in a different manner right if we have solute uh, solid if we have solute liquid if we have solute gas or uh, if we have solute uh, ionic solid if we have solute molecular solid so uh, depending on the nature of solute uh, means this enthalpy of solution requires some different uh, steps right so depending on the nature of solute depending on the nature nature of solute different steps different steps are involved steps are involved involved to explain explain the enthalpy of solution enthalpy of solution right so first i am taking a uh, solid and uh, in solid uh, i am first taking uh, ionic solid ionic solid suppose that we have taken ionic solid ab right ionic solid ab so see this uh, how this ionic solid ab forms the solution so uh, the formation of solution involves two steps so this involves two steps this is a two step process so formation of solution of solution thermodynamically two step basically solution involves two step two steps the first step is that this ab uh, solute solute ab solute ab this will uh, first dissociate this will first dissociate a plus uh, and b minus ions basically so this 
So I am considering this dissociation because you know this uh, this is a lattice basically A B A B like uh, lattice crystal lattice uh, this is this is a crystal lattice so the first step that this solute dissociate in the corresponding ions right although although this uh, uh, step uh, is not directly happening inside the solution but if we compare the initial state of our solute and the final state of our solute in uh, aqueous medium or in the given solvent basically for ionic solids uh, you take uh, water always as a solvent so if you take compare initial and final state so i am uh, connecting initial and final state with some intermediate states and these are the i mean uh, technically accepted uh, intermediate states so the first step is the dissociation and you know how much energy is involved in this dissociation process you know that is lattice enthalpy delta h lattice for a b okay see when you take sodium chloride and put into the water the sodium chloride lattice will be closely uh, i mean broken and uh, this will disappear in water so obviously uh, there is a dissociation of this lattice this uh, b minus and a plus they will uh, inducibly exist in the aqueous medium but i am trying to split the complete uh, complex step in two simple steps so this is the step one now see this uh, <coughs> ions a plus ion plus B minus ion now they will hydrate means now they will uh, uh, react or they will associate with solvent solvent and basically in this case we are taking solvent water so what is this process this is A plus aqueous this is A plus aqueous and this is B minus aqueous. So this step is hydration. Basically this step is hydration or solvation. And this step is what? This step is dissociation. What? Dissociation. So here dissociation and here hydration right so what is uh, the delta uh, h here so delta h hydration sigma of delta h hydration this is the delta h uh, 2 we can say right and here this is delta h not 1 so delta H01 is the lattice enthalpy which involves to dissociate this into ions and this is hydration, right? This is hydration. So now uh, you uh, sum up these two steps. So how to, so you can write solute AB plus solvent this will give you the a plus aqueous plus b minus aqueous so this is delta h solution and this is equal to delta h1 plus delta h2 right okay so delta h of solution
सोल्यूशन फॉर आयनिक सॉलिड इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा एच लैटिस प्लस सिग्मा ऑफ हाइड्रेशन ऑफ आय ओके सो होपफुली नाउ ऑल ऑफ यू आर क्लियर हाउ द आई मीन एनी सल्यूट Uh, for the solution ionic solute for the solution in the given solvent so this is uh, the expression for uh, this ionic solid now number 2 i am taking molecular solid second case i am taking molecular solid molecular solid molecular solid means covalent solid right molecular solid means Uh, covalent solid so this is also uh, you can uh, divide in two steps same because this is also solid so if you take a solute so this solute solid this will uh, convert into uh, solute molecules means now each and every molecule of that solute that will uh, i will separate out so this is also a kind of dissociation but this dissociation uh, is basically is uh, equivalent to sublimation because each and every molecule is separated of the solute it is separated means separated means now it behaves like a gaseous molecule like individual molecules are uh, separated so this is sublimation basically sublimation and now this solute so let the delta h not 1 here this is equal to delta h sublimation of that solute right for example if you take uh, glucose which is a fairly soluble in water so glucose 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 uh, this is the lattice of glucose a joint molecule uh, molecular solid is this suppose that if you have taken one mole means 180 g so this will constitute how many such uh, glucose uh, molecules avogadro's number of glucose molecules are there so this step is visualized like this that each and every glucose molecule now separated right like this so this is equivalent to the sublimation when you are heating uh, some uh, solid and uh, it is converted into liquid and then it is converted into individual molecules vapor so uh, here uh, i am cutting down one step that i am taking uh, solid solute solid to solute liquid then solute liquid to solute uh, vapor molecule right so i am cutting one step i am taking two step together then this is called uh, what sublimation okay now in the second step what will happen this uh, solute molecule solute molecule plus solvent solvent so you will get what solute solute uh solvated with uh, solvent molecule like uh, solute solvated with solvent molecule all these are solvent molecules they are solvent 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 right so you can say this is what solution solution so what is this step this step is basically solvation or hydration solvation or hydration right so this is solvation or hydration so delta h2 is equal to delta h solvation now you can add these two steps and uh, 
Now you can add these three steps uh, solute, solid plus solvent, you will get solution. Right? So delta H solution is equal to delta H naught 1 plus delta H naught 2. Right? So you can write solution of a molecular solid or covalent solid molecular solid is equal to delta H sublimation plus delta H solvation. Right? So this is the Okay. Hopefully, all of you are getting. Now, third, I am taking uh, uh, liquid. Means uh, second case. Uh, solid. Now, second case, I am taking liquid. Suppose that our solute is liquid, right? liquid solute. So this is also uh, can be broken in two steps, right? Solute, liquid, first this will go solute, molecules and uh, this is which kind of step? liquid to vapor so this is uh, delta h not 1 is equal to delta h vaporization right and now this solute molecules they will uh, dissolve in excess of solvent so you will get what solution so basically the same thing as uh, molecular solid I have shown you. So this is delta H naught 2 is equal to delta H solvation. Solvation always there. Solvation. Now you can add these three steps. So you will get uh, solute liquid plus solvent and this is equal to the solution. So this time delta H solution is equal to delta uh, H vaporization plus delta H height solvation. Right. So, in this way, you can uh, calculate the delta H solution for liquid. Now, come to the gas. Third is gas. So, suppose that uh, solute is a gas. So, uh, gaseous solute, uh, they are always, uh, already in molecular state, individual molecules. So, step one is, uh, I mean, not uh, applicable here. So, only one step. So, for the for the explaining the enthalpy change, the solution of gaseous solute, we have only one step. So, it involves, it involves only one step, right? So, solute gas plus solvent 
so you will get solution right so here delta h uh, solution is equal to delta h solvation right so and solvation is exothermic so we can say that uh, solubility of gases uh, solvation is always exothermic so we can say that the solubility solubility of gases is always exothermic either gas will not dissolve in water or in the given solvent and if it dissolves so this is exothermic exothermic means delta h solution for gases this is always negative but I am not taking guarantee for solids and liquids. It may be positive, it may be negative. That did because uh, here two steps are there. So if this step dominates over this step, because this step is essentially endothermic and this is step is uh, exothermic. So if this dominates over this, the overall uh, exothermic and if this dominates over this, then this is endothermic. So for liquids and solids, I am not taking any guarantee for okay good so this is uh, different uh, kinds of uh, what uh, enthalpy of solutions and uh, one important important note i would like to put here if your solution is sufficiently dilute or uh, very dilute for solutions for solutions uh, which are very dilute that are very dilute that are very dilute enthalpy of formation enthalpy of formation enthalpy of formation of aqueous ions can be of aqueous ions can be used used to calculate the enthalpy of Enthalpy of given reaction, right? And uh, all of you are knowing that uh, this delta H not formation of H plus aqueous, this is zero. This is the only ion for which this enthalpy of formation is taken to be zero, right? And uh, one more thing for this is zero that already I have told you that the entropy change is also zero for this H plus, right? So this is enthalpy or integral enthalpy of solution. Let's do a few problems, one or two problems so that you can understand uh, what uh, is integral enthalpy of solution and enthalpy of dilution also I will explain in that question, right? Now see, this is one question uh, through which uh, I am trying to explain uh, all the uh, I mean aspects of this uh, enthalpy of solution. From the following set of delta H uh, formation of HNO3 in n moles of water means uh, I have given you the different moles of water. Find delta H solution for HNO3 as a function of con concentration means at any particular uh, concentration. First, you have to find out the delta H solution. Then delta H uh, formation for nitrate ion at infinite dilution and delta H dilution for HNO3 uh, from 10 mole of water means from 10 mole of water to 100 moles of water means first you take uh, uh, 
one mole of HNO3 in 10 moles of water, whatsoever the enthalpy of solution is there, you can note down that and uh, then 100, add 100 moles of water and then uh, uh, note down the enthalpy of solution and uh, just take the difference that is called enthalpy of uh, dilution and see this is the data. So first you have all of you should note down this question then one by one we can do right. So, see, see, we have to calculate here the delta H of solution for HNO3, right, for HNO3 in 100 moles of water, 100 moles of water, I am going to calculate this because uh, you know, see this is a pure enthalpy of formation of uh, uh, HNO3 liquid, this is the enthalpy of uh, formation of HNO3 uh, when you are taking HNO3 in 10 moles of water, so basically this is enthalpy of uh, solution. Uh, for HNO3 with 10 moles of water, it will give a particular concentration. Then 100 moles of water, 1000 moles of water, 10,000 moles of water, and this is uh, I mean uh, excess of water. So after this, uh, this 207.36, after that, this is constant. The value will uh, of enthalpy of formation or enthalpy of solution will not change. So we have to find out uh, the enthalpy of uh, solution. This is enthalpy of formation given. Now we have to find out the enthalpy of solution, right? So see how to uh, form the enthalpy of solution. First, you have to uh, design the reaction step. See, HNO3 liquid, HNO3 liquid plus N moles of water, this will give you the HNO3 in N moles of water in NH2, right? And here I am taking, so uh, uh, we have to uh, calculate the enthalpy change and whatsoever the enthalpy change here, that is known as enthalpy of solution with N moles of water. So uh, we have, uh, I have designed this equation and now uh, we can very simply calculate uh, the enthalpy of solution. Uh, I am taking 100 moles of water. See the first question what is asked? Enthalpy of solution for HNO3 as a function of concentration. So I am taking 100 moles of water, this data and try to calculate. So delta H solution, this is equal to uh, and uh, for which this uh, HNO3 in 100 mole, HNO3 in 100 mole H2O, this is equal to what? Delta H not formation for HNO3 in 100 moles of water, water minus delta H not formation of HNO3 pure liquids, right? So if you take the difference of this uh, formation data, you can very easily calculate the delta H solution. So this value is uh, 206.857 minus 206.857 minus minus 174.10. So this is equal to minus 32.76. So this is the way how to calculate the enthalpy of solution if enthalpy of formation data is given.
and if you remember in the beginning of this thermochemistry i have told you that uh, we, we can calculate any uh, enthalpy of solution in terms of enthalpy of formation if enthalpy of formation is given correct now the second question uh, delta h not formation for hno3 ion at infinite dilution at infinite dilution so uh, second part if you see delta uh, h uh, of uh, solution of hno3 in in finite amount of water is equal to delta h not formation of h plus aqueous plus delta h not formation of no3 minus aqueous because you know uh, under infinite dilution state this will be fully dissociated hno3 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 liquid plus infinite amount of water so this will exist as uh, h plus aqueous plus no3 minus aqueous right so basically for this we have to calculate uh, by using this equation we can calculate delta h uh, formation what what is asked delta h formation for nitrate ion so we can calculate delta h formation for nitrate ion delta h not solution uh, it is uh, given here 207.36 delta h formation of HNO3 in the infinite uh, dilution so it is given minus uh, 207 minus 207.36 this is equal to for this it is 0 plus delta H not formation of uh, NO3 minus right so delta H not formation for NO3 minus is equal to minus 207.36 kilojoules per mole right now see the third part delta uh, dilution delta H dilution for HNO3 from uh, 10 moles of uh, water to 100 moles of water so basically the third part of your question is that uh, you have taken one mole of HNO3 and uh, in uh, 10 moles of water 10 moles of water to 1 mole HNO3 and uh, 100 moles of water or uh, this question can be framed like this that 1 mole of HNO3 is taken with 10 moles of water and 90 moles of uh, water uh, are added here like that uh, the question may be framed so basically this this is this have some concentration c1 and this have some other concentration c2 and uh, here uh, we have added some water basically here so this is the uh, process whole process so you have to whatsoever the enthalpy is changing in this that is called enthalpy of dilution dilution right so enthalpy of dilution here is equal to enthalpy of uh, enthalpy of formation of this uh, HNO3 at 100 moles of water in 100 moles of water minus this enthalpy of formation of uh, HNO3 in 10 moles of water right 
you can directly subtract this and get the answer. Why I have not taken here solution, enthalpy of uh, solution of this? Suppose that if you are taking uh, enthalpy of solution of this, so enthalpy of solution of this is equal to enthalpy of formation of this minus enthalpy of formation of HO3 liquid and here also, so that will cancel out, so hardly matters, right? So uh, 100 moles of water, what is the value? 100 moles of water minus 206.857, minus 206. Point uh, eight five seven eight five seven minus minus ten moles minus two zero five point eight one nine. So this is equal to minus two zero six point eight five seven plus two zero five point eight one nine. Right, so this is equal to two zero six two zero six point eight five seven minus two zero five point eight one nine. This is minus one point zero two eight. right so this is the enthalpy of diodes so this way you can calculate the different aspect of uh, this uh, enthalpy of solution so uh, in terms of enthalpy of uh, I mean uh, formation uh, we can uh, calculate the enthalpy of dilution directly without uh, uh, evaluating or uh, one more formula we can write here enthalpy of solution of uh, HNO3 in 100 moles H2O minus whatsoever data is given you can use that get data enthalpy of solution of HNO3 in 10 moles water both will both uh, uh, data will yield the same uh, result because this is equal to uh, this minus enthalpy of formation of HNO3 liquid and here also minus so that will uh, cancel out right same value uh, subtracting same value from both so you will get this so in this way you can uh, calculate the enthalpy of dilution so this is uh, how uh, this data enthalpy of formation data we can exploit for the calculation of enthalpy of what solution, right? At particular concentration or at two different concentration. And calculation, it also helps in the calculation of enthalpy of formation of any particular ion, right? Okay, so this is one homework for all of you people. You should uh, solve this question. Delta H naught formation at infinite dilution. This is given uh, for uh, Ag plus, for NO3 minus, for Cl minus, and this is delta H naught formation for AgCl is given. So you have to find the enthalpy change for the following reaction, right? So evaluate the enthalpy change for this reaction. This data is given. Okay, good.